Hey there, my name is Zilla. What is yours? I'm stuck inside today because it's raining. I was planning to go play baseball with some friends, but I guess I can't anymore. Mom says it's too wet outside. Sometimes I dislike the rain so much. I wonder what the first story about rain came from. Do you know? Well, Zilla, have you ever heard the story about Noah and the ark? No? What's that about? Can you tell me? Why don't you go pick up that Bible and open it to Genesis 6? Read aloud so everyone can hear. Okay. I hope it's interesting. Long ago lived a man named Noah. He was a father who had three sons named Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The people during that time were starting to marry and create families. Oh, I'm in a family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I wish I had a brother to play baseball with. Whoa, where am I? That scared me so bad. I think the thunder hit the house and turned off all the lights. Let me turn them back on real quick. Hey, that's funny. I'm not in the house anymore. It looks like I'm outside. And there's the ark. Oh my word. I think I traveled back in time to where Noah was. Look, there's Noah now. I know what I can do. I can keep reading and also watch Noah build the ark. Maybe I'll even help him out a little bit along the way. Let's go chop up some wood for Noah to use while I keep reading. The world was filling up with many evil people. This made the Lord extremely sad. He didn't like that his people were evil. The Lord saw this and began to devise a plan for Noah. The Lord said he is going to create a great flood to destroy everything on this earth. Everything but Noah and his family, for Noah found favor in the Lord's eyes. The Lord said to Noah to make himself an ark with cypress wood and fill it with pitch inside and out. So Noah did just that. But wait! What is a flood? A flood is when it rains so much that water fills dry land and you can't walk or use it anymore until the rain stops. Oh no! Is it flooding back at the house? No, Zilla. You'll soon see why there will never be a flood like this again. The ark was able to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 40 feet high. Holy cow! That's bigger than my house! <laughs> why yes, it's much bigger than the house. And you will see why it needed to be so big. Why don't you start to gather some hay for the animals in the ark? You can also explore too. I bet the ark is really cool to look at. You got it. First I have to take this wood back. I'm going to keep reading as well. The Lord said, I will establish my covenant with you, Noah. Wait, what's a covenant? I've heard that word before. Do you know what that means? A covenant is a promise or agreement. So the Lord made a promise to Noah that if he builds the ark, Noah and his family will be safe during the flood because he loves and cares for those who love him. Oh, so God was protecting Noah. Okay, moving on. The Lord instructed Noah to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female. Wow, two of every kind of animal? I already have a cat and a dog and I feel like that's too much. That's like 600 animals. Let's go see if we can find any of the animals. Oh, hello, sir. I've never been inside the ark yet. This will be fun. Whoa, this thing is huge. Wow, look at this. This must be where they sleep. Wow. And there's another layer too. I wonder where the animals are kept. <gasps> oh, this is where he's keeping some animals. Oh, look at the dogs. Oh, that's an empty one. We might have to fill that soon. One more? And cows? No way! Panda bears? That's awesome. Wow. Okay, before I get back to work, I'm gonna just check out a little bit more of this place. We'll go down here. Whoa, this is where we keep the hay. I'll make sure to go get some more. I wonder what's at the top. Do to do to do. All right. Oh, hey, you can see the window from here. Hi. Hi, Mom. Okay, climb this ladder. Oh. Make sure to close the hatch, too. Wow. I can see my house from here. Whoa. Oh, my word. Look, there's Noah and his family and where they're staying, and the rest of the animals, too. Wow, that's so cool. I'm going to run as fast as I can to the other side. Oh my goodness. I'm already getting tired. 
This thing is really gonna have to hold up well if the water gets this high. Ooh, look, and I can see all the way below. That is so cool. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's get back to work. I gotta fill the bottom up with more hay so none of the animals get hungry during their long trip. I'll keep reading too. I wonder what happens next. While Noah was building the ark, his neighbors began to laugh and mock him. Ho ho ho, Noah, what are you building this for? Look, there's no rain. What's gonna happen? You're just wasting your time. They didn't believe a great flood was about to come because they didn't talk to God. Noah had to continue to trust God. After many, many months of building the ark, it was finally finished. Once Noah was inside it, it began to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. And look, it's starting to rain right now. I better get inside the ark before they close the doors. Soon the earth was covered in water. Only Noah and his family on the ark were all that was left. So the rain eventually stopped. The water began to get lower and soon Noah could see land. Noah sent out a dove to go find land. The dove came back with an olive leaf. Noah then knew he would soon find land. Once Noah could see ground again, God said to Noah to come out of the ark and be fruitful. So Noah and his family, plus all the animals, got off the boat one after the other. Noah then built an altar to the Lord for offerings to him, for the Lord kept Noah safe. The Lord smelt the offerings and stated never again will he flood the earth. And as a reminder, here is a rainbow for everyone to be reminded of my promise. Whenever you see a rainbow, remember me and my promise to you. Wow, so that's where rainbows come from. Hey! I'm back at my house. And look outside. It's starting to stop raining. I wonder if I can see a rainbow. Oh my word, there it is. What a beautiful reminder of God's covenant to us. I hope you enjoyed the story time as much as me. I really like how good God took care of his family and kept everyone safe. Next time I'm afraid, I will remember that God protects those who love him and he has promised to keep us safe. Until next time, make sure to tell your parents if you like the story. I'm sure there are plenty of more stories for me to read.